Okay guys, welcome back. We're here today with a mystery board that you've all been waiting for. You probably know what it is now, and that is obviously by the thumbnail, it's a Vareel V1. Now, I'll talk to you a little bit about it once I get it out, and the way I get it out is like this, watch. There's nothing there, right? Nothing there. Razor blade. How cool is that? Um, right, let's unwrap the Vareel V1. Now, the reason I got the Vareel uh, to review is everybody's reviewing the Meepo board, everyone's reviewing the WowGo, and this is the, the, the badass cousin of the Meepo and the WowGo, and um, a few other usual suspects, but the Vareel has a lot more edge to it, and as you know, I'm pretty good at researching this kind of stuff on paper before I get it, and I'm pretty much nail it every time. Now, those of you that are wanting to buy a budget electric skateboard that wants to, they want to spend no more than probably 400 US dollars. That's normally the price of this, 450 US dollars. But apparently at the moment, they're offering this for the 259 US dollars. It doesn't include shipping. I think shipping will be added to that, but still, it's the cheapest electric skateboard in the world right now, but the most powerful and the most technically advanced. It's, it's pretty amazing, this thing, and I'm just gonna show it to you now. Okay, so let's open it up. Whoa, okay. That's inside the box, guys. It's very reminiscent of the, of the usual suspects we have, which is like the the the, uh, the booster board design uh, with the you know the battery pack on one end of the S, con S control on the other end. The James Bond remote. Okay, <laughs> look how tiny that is. I'll get in the background there. Um, you also get the spare urethanes, like they're giving out now with the um, Koo war the Koo board. They're giving them out with the um, you know the, pretty much all rear urethanes are being uh, given out as replacements. At the moment, um, these are an extra 50 bucks, I think, from um, the 259 mark, you know, 299 for these. Now, if you look closely inside them, guess what? We've got the magnets in here. Now, this is really important, guys. Being an electrical fit and mechanic from background, I can tell you now, magnets are the things that damage. They're the things that get loose. They're not welded in, they're actually anabolic compound glued in and they have the bearing in the bottom there as well. Now, what it means is that when you replace your urethanes, you're replacing actually the bell housing. You're replacing the outside rotor, okay? So you're getting a whole half new motor. This is a pretty impressive thing to do. Not, now I know Wauga aren't doing this. I know that Meepo aren't doing this. Even Kuboard aren't doing this, Koo Wheel. Uh, Mello aren't doing this. They all have their own urethane slide on. That's pretty impressive. So hats off to um, Vareel for giving you the magnets and brand new, they're really heavy, the brand new magnets and the uh, urethanes. Okay, this doesn't have seven ply with bamboo, it has eight ply and it doesn't have the bamboo center. So it's a stiff deck, it's a beautiful deck, it's thick, it's solid. I'm telling this beforehand so it gets you to lead up before you look at it. The motors are 250 watt motors, the same as the Meepo, the same as the WowGo, but the peak voltage is 375 to 500 watts. And that's what a lot of companies like Evolve are quoting 1600 watts uh, dual motors, you know, 3000 watts because they're peak. So if you look at this as peak, it's 500 watt individual peak motors, which is gonna be 1000 complete, complete total wattage. Now 1000 watts is fast. Okay, okay you've also got in the remote control, you, they're using a polymer battery rather than a lithium and more than uh, ion. They're using a polymer. Polymers last longer, they're a better battery. Eventually batteries on all electric skateboards will go, will go polymer. The urethane on this is really high quality. It's a really beautiful, squeaky, really rubbery, you know, plasticky sort of good durometer. Now the lamb wheel I've been riding the last couple of days is already chipping off the corners. It's more of a dusty, dry kind of urethane. I've got to get back to lamb wheel and explain that's one thing they probably have to improve their urethane. This is high quality Durometer. This is probably an ADA. It's beautiful. You've got the nice silver mirror edge finish rather than the Meepo's little sort of like spoke things, black, which looks a bit toyish. This is much more sexy. This is possibly the best electric skateboard. <laughs> I look so small down here with this box. Um, but Vic Duen, uh, the managing director or owner, whatever, founder, sales manager, he is offering at the moment the 259 package. There's no website. You go through Facebook, do orders or whatever. I don't know. I'll have to put some stuff in the description below. Look at it and see what we got. Okay. 
Packaging is pretty impressive. You've got a really nice foam uh, support there, so the motors are completely off the actual, uh, the, the in suspended midair with foam. I've never seen packaging this good before. So hats off to uh, that kind of packaging, guys. Uh, Chinese suppliers do that kind of thing. It protects the motors completely. Tell you right now, this thing is phenomenal. Let's get rid of that. Okay. The starters. Um, the weight is 6.7 kilos. So it's a nice, it's a reasonably light electric skateboard. It's got a beautiful finish to it like the uh, booster board. It's got a nice non-concave, no loaded deck, you know, camber deck, which I hate, which sort of flex and you bounce around like on a trampoline. It's a thick deck, as I said, it's eight layer ply. Um, trusty ruler. Okay, the trucks between the wheels are seven inches. Seven inches between just the trucks. So the actual outside of the wheels uh, nearly 12 inches. We're talking the trucks are nearly 12 inches from edge to wheel to wheel. That's a lot wider than the Ku board, a lot wider, I'm pretty sure, than the uh, Mipo and also the, um, look at the, the trucks in there. You can see how wide they are. Just turn it on, we'll give it a sound. Hey, let's start her up. It's always nice to start one of these things up. Let's turn it on. So if you just turn it on, I, I'm blown away, guys, at what's coming out of China at the moment in terms of quality. This It's just, uh, impressive what they're doing okay let's put it on high mode so we'll be quiet now and listen to this if we can wow i don't know if you can hear that it actually is spinning it's we'll break yeah beautiful it's got heavy, beautiful, much thicker um, stainless steel bolt heads around here. Most of these WowGo's, Koo boards, they're all got the just cheap little black painted um, hexagonal nuts here that are small gauge, like probably metric, I don't know, four or five. This looks like metric six, uh, heavy stainless steel. Um, I just like the look of it. I think it's, um, it's, it's pretty impressive. Let's get out and go for a ride and we'll check out what this thing can do. So just sit back and we'll get going right now. Okay guys, I've finally got down here and here is the remote. Um, uh, 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 okay. That's the quietest I've been for a while, I bet you're saying. <laughs> We're gonna test it out now. I want initial impressions, I want first ride, I wanna know how it feels, I wanna know exactly what it's doing, I wanna know if it's like a uh, a premium or a cheap electric skate. Okay, one thing it's supposed to have is auto start. That's auto push start. Let's check it out if it does that. Okay, you can see right now it's off. We'll just give it a push. Yep, two beeps. And she's on. The remote's on. Wow. wow, haven't seen that before. That's kind of lazy, isn't it? You can just push the button or you can just push it. Let's go for a ride. The first ride of the Vareel V1. Let's check it out. Okay, I've never ridden this before, so let's go. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> someone once said before, I think it was Ronnie, it kicks like a mule. Whoa, this has got some bite. Whoa. This has got more bite than anything I've ridden before. Whoa, it's like a Ferrari. <laughs> it's really got a really got a big bite on it. Jeez, it's got some power for, was it 350 watt motors? I'm not going to go too fast because I'm just trying to get the handle of this. Wow, it's nice. I must say, I'm just going to pull up here. Just here, I'll just do the brakes. Whoa, it's got zero to about 20 in two seconds. Oh, this is exhilarating. I'll get some speed up here. those that brakes are awesome okay the brakes are absolutely awesome um, okay first impressions it's got some bite this thing has got the most bite I've ever felt on any electric skateboard um, Wow okay let me just 
comprehend this. This is pretty impressive, actually. Uh, for something with, what, 350 watt motors, it's just insane. I'm gonna go back and check out it again. Whoa, if you're not leaning forward, it really kicks. Our torque ratio curve is extremely quick, so you need to really lean forward on this thing if you're gonna be pushing the trigger. Uh, well, there she is. Uh, it's 31 inches long. It's, I'm gonna nickname this the Pocket Rocket because it's like a, it's like a, a Mini Cooper S on adrenaline. Um, yeah, I'm gonna video myself riding it so you can see how it travels and how it looks. Um, there's a remote. It's a, it's a small little remote. It's a very James Bond thing. It's not super high quality, but it works and it works effortlessly. Yeah, look at that, look at the bite on that. I'll just show you again. It's incredible. Yeah, it's a nice unit. This is a, this is a really, really nice skateboard. Let's get some filming of me riding it now. Okay, I had to do that. I had to get out there, I had to ride it. This thing is insane. Okay, I had an idea, this is my idea, about four weeks ago to get this board. The reason why everybody's getting a Meepo, everyone's getting a, you know, the Wow Go, the, the motors, these are a thousand watt peak combined motors. That's 500 watts each, which is more than the Koo board. This is a powerful system. The weight is 6.7 kilos. Okay, now the range on this you're going to get uh, the same as the other ones, which is a 20 cell battery, 158 watt hour motor. I'd say best part of probably you know 23 kilometer range on an average speed. The remote control has uh, three speeds, low speed is phenomenal it takes off so slow it doesn't even move you think it's not working suddenly it takes off and it goes a max of 10 kilometers per hour so you could technically be a 50 year old guy who wants to get into skateboard riding and a son you know or maybe a 40 year old guy son who's 10 you could take this out in high speed mode and it flies then you give it to your son he could play in the front garden you can't kill yourself it's just such a slow safe speed no other electric skateboard i've ever ridden has that really limited slow very safe for a 10 year old or under 10 year old to ride it's brilliant really got to lean forward when you actually take off because this thing has got some bite i'm dying to the hill climb test on this hill with it to see if it beats the 22 kilometers per hour that the uh, land wheel just got generation five we digress okay yeah! my impressions of riding it is phenomenal the kvs on this i'd say they're going to be around about probably 60 not 70 like a normal hub the bite and torque is insane so that's technical torque kv is doing this is 2080 revolutions per minute on these this is you know vic if he's a technician has done his homework this is a brilliant electric skateboard and if you're looking at buying one for certainly for speed or for and for power this thing will do it it's unbelievable so first impressions guys i've got to say um i'm blown away so yes! there's nothing uh but positive things about this and uh my idea as i said was of getting this rather than the wow go or the meepo was the best thing i ever did dylan kowalski is the only person who's really done the review on this and a one take review his normal reviews he rides it does a bit of a ride i'm doing i said the whole lot big shout out to dylan i'm the first official i think it's the official Vareal unboxing and full test uh on the speed hill climbs and um long range so sit back and enjoy if you're in the market to get one if you're confident at this point at this point i would say if you want one i would so far uh, on an hour in the park i can't see a problem and it's a safe bet so for 259 dollars it's worth the uh, you know the, the purchase go for it i'll leave links below how to buy it or wherever you how you buy it. i'm just reviewing it and getting it out as fast as i can real v1 Big shout out to Vareel. Thank you so much for sending me this so quickly. And I can't believe the quality, the urethane 
Uh, like I said, it's an ADA. It's just, it's just amazing. So let's get out and do some more tests, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Andrew Penn, until then, signing off. Happy skating. Safe skating, guys.